Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Graham! Do you like cookies? Do you ever make cookies, but your mom tells you you can't have them because they're for company? But you can still smell them. You know what that means? Molecules are coming off of the cookies, going through the air and into your nose, where your nerves detect the presence of cookie molecules. So next time this happens, just walk right up to the cookies and go, Thanks, Mom. I got all I need. Just walk away with a smile on your face, and your mom will be just like, Okay, what just happened? The reason why you can smell cookies from a long distance away is because molecules of gas travel in a straight line through the air. Remember, gas is made of molecules that are far apart and small. They don't lose their energy when they hit container walls. They travel in a straight line, no changing from their course. They move faster when it's hotter. They have no attractive force. They travel in a straight line, and the speed at which they travel depends on two things. One is the density of the gas. The more dense the gas is, the more energy it takes to move that gas over the same distance. And the temperature. The higher the temperature, the faster the gas molecules are moving, so the faster they'll spread out. This is called Graham's Law of Effusion. So gases spread out from a central point if you release them from a container. Entropy makes sure this happens. The rate of their spread is dependent on, first of all, the temperature. As the temperature increases, the molecules move faster, so the rate of effusion will also increase. The molecules will move at a faster rate of speed. This is why if you take, let's say you got a neighbor's dog, and the dog likes to take a dump on your lawn. Let's say the neighbor's dog takes a dump on your lawn in a cold day in January, and then that neighbor's dog takes a dump on your lawn in a hot day in July. Under which conditions are you going to smell that poop faster? That's right, July, because when it's hotter, the molecules are moving faster, so the poop molecules will go up your nose sooner. In the wintertime, molecules move slower, so it takes more time for the poop molecules to make it up your nose. Density. As density increases, their rate of diffusion decreases. Let's say you're getting behind two vehicles, both parked in neutral. One of them is a nice little VW bug, parked in neutral, nice little car. The other one is a Mack truck. Now they're both in neutral, you get behind them and push. Which one's going to go further faster? The lighter one. You'll be able to push that little car, because if it's a neutral, it doesn't take much just to push it, as long as it's on a level surface. That Mack truck, you're probably not going to budge it, even though it's in neutral. So the heavier the molecules, the more energy it takes to get them to move. Therefore, the rate of spreading out of the molecules decreases. Now, according to reference table S, which gas is going to effuse or spread out faster, helium or neon? According to reference table S, helium has a density of 0 0.000179, and the density of neon is 0 0.0009, which is more dense than helium. So helium will effuse faster since it's less dense. Since neon is more dense, it will effuse slower. A batch of fresh cookies comes out of the oven. Will you smell them sooner if the temperature in the house is 20 degrees Celsius or 30 degrees Celsius? Well, the hotter it is, the sooner you're going to smell that mm -mm cookies. So I hope there's no confusion about effusion.